guys, good morning. Morning. All right, I hope you guys can hear me. Let me know if not. I have seen a few people have been having issues with sound this morning, so let me know if you can't hear me. <laughs> yeah, core power. Welcome, Lauren. Okay, you guys, so I'll be guiding a 55-ish minute <laughs> practice, core focused. Um, as always, please, please, please listen to your body. Take rest and water whenever you need to. Lots of modifications as we move. Um, the work today will be focused around the core and building strength in that area, but also working um, with mobility as well. I'll provide lots of options and you guys can message me after. Let me know if you do have questions or if anything didn't feel so great in your body today. Let's see how we go. I'm playing a bit of music quietly in the background. You're welcome to turn on some music in your space to get fired up. And let's begin on our back in Supta Baddha Konasana Bound Angle Pose. So as you settle onto your back, bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees fall open to either side of the space and bring your left hand to your heart, your right hand to your belly. We can enjoy a few nice moments here together just in rest and stillness before we get into the work. And as you rest in this shape, just Tune into your body, your breath, check in with how you feel. My intention with this practice and really all of these classes I've been leading here on Instagram are to support you in getting out of your head for a little bit and landing into your body guiding you through some movement, some asana poses, stretches, exercises to um, support you in, in just feeling good in your day and keeping the, um, the, the strength up in your body and yeah, just that. So take a deep inhale, breath through your nose below the way to the very top. And as you exhale, sigh out and acknowledge that you are on your mat, you're supported, that there are others breathing with you. Take another inhale, breath. And exhale, ha, let go. Take another big round of breath right where you are. And let it drop, exhale, ha. Okay, slowly take your hands to your outer thighs and draw your knees in to meet. And draw your knees in, in towards your chest now. Give yourself a big squeeze. If it's available, reach for opposite elbows, wrists, or allow one hand to rest on each shin. And as you hold this shape, you can take a rock and soften the muscles along your spine. And we can start to add a bit of work for the core in this shape. As you exhale, can you round your forehead in towards your knees? There's a gentle crunch. And as you inhale, open back up. Exhale, round and crunch. This might feel like an awkward way to breathe, but give it a try. Inhale, open back up. Take three more, exhale, crunch in, give yourself a big hug, big squeeze, and inhale, open. Two more, exhale, round in, and open. One more time, round in, squeeze in as tight as you can. Forehead even closer to your knees if there's more space to move into. And then on your exhale this time, open back up. Take your knees, send them away from your body to stack up over your hips. 
And then take your arms out to a cactus or a T position. And stabilize through to your upper body. Feel your shoulder blades are down to your mat. And flex through your heels. So your heels flex forward, toes work back towards your shin. And then on your inhale, your exhale actually, let's drop knees to a hover right side of your space. So there's this gentle awakening of the uh, oblique muscles, the lateral line of your core, and then draw back through center. Exhale, other side, hover your knees to the left side of the space. Move only as far as you can go to maintain that stability in the upper body, and draw back through center. Let's try that a few times each side. Exhale, knees hover to the right. Inhale, back through center. And exhale, hover to the left. Okay, not so bad so far. Let's do one more on each side. Knees hover to your right. Back through center. And hover to the left. Next time you meet back through center, can you pause there and hold? Take your fingertips to the back of your head, just the base of your skull. Keep your knees, your hips stacked. Feel your navel draw down towards your spine. And then slowly lift your shoulder blades up off the mat. Keep your gaze up towards the ceiling. There's this space open through the chest. And send your right heel towards the front of the space. And twist right elbow to your left knee. Come back to your center. Keep your gaze up and other side twist. Left elbow to right outer knee or thigh. Back through center. Nice and slow with your breath. Exhale, twist to the left. Back through center. Exhale, twist to the right. Moving slower than you maybe want to move right now, but challenge yourself to really be in each moment of this work. Keep your shoulder blades lifted. Keep drawing your navel down and allow the cadence of your breath to guide you. Okay, let's go for six, back through center, five, back through center, last four, are you breathing, three, last two, I'm already feeling this, I hope you guys are, last one, come back through center, pause. Lift your shoulder blades up a little bit higher. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale, draw your knees in towards your chest. Huh. Okay, slowly lower your feet down to the mat. Knees point up towards the ceiling. And let's take a few bridge flow movements with the breath. Arms alongside your body. Inhale, press into your feet, lift your hips. We invite this opening, this stretch through the front line of the body. Exhale, slow lower. Take two more just like that. Inhale, lift up. Gaze down the midline and exhale, slow lower. One more time, inhale, press to the top. Hold for a moment, squeeze your glutes. Feel your core still working, navel draws down. One more inhale, breath. And exhale, slow lower. Feel the spine settle back onto your mat, navel draws down. And lift your shoulder blades up once again. This time, fingertips reach towards the front of your space. And can you take your right fingertips to tap your pinky toe back through center? Try the other side, reach to the left, back through center. The chest is still lifted, gaze up towards the ceiling, shoulder blades come up as high as you can, and let's move from side to side for 10, nine, eight. Feel the activation in your side body, last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back through center, lower head, neck, shoulders, draw your knees back in towards your chest. Ha, let that go. Okay, right away, send legs up towards the ceiling and interlace your hands to the back of your right leg, lower your left leg to hover. Now, we'll invite this work into the core, but also enjoy some stretch and sensation in the back of the leg. Option to stay right here or lift head and neck shoulders up for that added, added challenge. On your exhale, switch, draw your left leg in, charge your right heel to a hover and towards that space in front of you. Keep the back of your neck long, keep your gaze lifted. Let's switch, right leg pulls in and switch, left leg in. You move from side to side. 
with your breath. Again, for that added challenge, keep lifting your shoulder blades up away from the mat, keep drawing your navel down. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, last six, five, four, three, two, one. Both legs up towards the ceiling and lower head, neck, shoulders down to the mat. Okay, this time arms alongside your body, palms down. We'll work the lower abdominals. Okay, with your legs straight up, heels press up towards the ceiling. Can you take a lift through your hips and send your feet up towards the ceiling? Again, lift up through your hips. Okay, and option to bring your hands underneath your hips for a little bit of added support. Let's go for 10, nine. See if you can take the sway out of your legs, eight. Seven, six, five. Keep rooting through your palms. Four, three, two, and one. Knees in towards your chest. Hug. Give yourself a big squeeze. Okay, let's transition. Hands to the back of the knees. Rock and roll along your spine two, three, four times. And land with your feet on the mat. Give yourself a big hug and big squeeze and round your forehead in towards your knees. Invite your breath to move into your back body. Soften any space there. And then slowly open up, bring your hands down to the mat, and lift your legs up so that your knees and your ankles are in one straight line. And then bring your hands well behind you. Draw your elbows in towards one another. For those of you that feel quite warm already and have the space, you're welcome to take this with the legs straight. And then on your next breath, Bend into your elbows, charge your legs out in front, your body comes to a hover, and then squeeze back into this boat pose, Navasana shape. Again, open up, the triceps support you here, squeeze in. Let's move for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, last one hover and hold. Add a challenge. Reach your right arm forward. Reach your left arm forward. Hold for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze all the way up. Feet to the mat. Wrap your arms over your shins. Forehead to your knees. Go. All right, friends. Cross your ankles. Come on to all fours. Tabletop. And because it will feel good, let's flush out that workout movement with a few cow cats. As you inhale, let your belly fall. Tilt your hips up towards the ceiling and draw your shoulders back, lift your chest. Let the belly soften. And as you exhale around, press away from your mat, navel to spine, chin to chest. Okay. Two more like that. Inhale, belly falls. Shoulders peel back, lift your gaze through. And exhale around, navel to spine. One more, and then we add on. Inhale, belly falls. Peel your shoulders back, lift your hips. And exhale, navel to spine, chin to chest, wrap. Okay, keep this tabletop shape, but tuck your toes under. As you inhale, move into cow pose, belly fall, shoulders peel back. As you exhale, press into your hands and hover your knees an inch or two off the mat. Navel pulls in, broad across back body. Inhale, lower your knees. Tuck your toes if that feels more comfortable. And exhale, tuck your toes, cover your shins, your knees, belly to spine, and chin to chest. And let's take three of those. Inhale, lower your knees. Exhale, tuck, hover, and round. Last two, inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale, round. All right, can you hold here? Keep your nations at a hover. Spread your fingertips wide. Soften your elbows so you feel your triceps spire up. You're broad across your back body. You hold right here, breathe. Option to charge right heel towards the back of this space. Think one straight of line of energy from the top of your head to your right heel. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Right toes meet the mat. Hold your hover. Option to charge your left heel back. 
Straight line of energy, top of the head towards your left heel. Your navel pulls in, press away from your mat, pull for five, four, three, two, one. Left toes meet the mat, stay for your inhale breath. Downward facing dog all the way to the back of your mat, forward fold. Okay, let's take a few moments here. Lengthen through your spine, feel your core fire up. And exhale, allow your torso to fold, head hangs heavy. And then inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. One more time, halfway lift, lengthen through your spine. And fully surrender into your fold. Take a really deep bend in both knees. We will move into a twist from here. Take your left fingertips to the middle of your space, so just below heart center. Bend your left knee and right arm will reach up towards the ceiling. If the ground feels really far away, a block under the hands is a great option or whatever prop you have in your yoga space today. And then slowly twist to the other side. Make sure you're keeping that core strong as you move here. The core really drives the movement. Root through your right fingertips, left fingertips, reach up towards the ceiling, gaze up. Let's take one more each side. Inhale, open up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, breath. Exhale, switch, open to the left. One more inhale, breath. And exhale, both sets of fingertips down to the mat. Bend your knees a lot, halfway lift again. Focus on the core, and exhale, forward fold. Walk your hands now towards the top of your mat, and we'll meet in an extended plank pose. Spread your fingertips wide, wrist shoulders stack, toes ankles stack. And then from here, can you lower your knees down to the mat while maintaining that strength in your core? And replace your right hand with your right elbow, left hand with your left elbow, and you're on your forearms now. Tap the toes back under, lift your knees up if you can take it there, and then we'll hold forearm plank for a few rounds of breath. Root into your palms, keep pressing the wrists, forearms, elbows down. Dome them across your back body. And then can you add the lower body into this to support you as well? Squeeze your glutes, your quads. Press the back of your knees towards the ceiling. Stay here for an inhale breath. As you exhale, can you lower your hips down to the mat? Keep the forearms rooted, untuck your toes, sphinx pose. Okay, so if you're feeling a lot of strain in the lower back, send your elbows forward a little bit more so that your shoulders, your elbows are stacked or the elbows are slightly ahead, okay? And then we'll move here from sphinx pose. Tuck your toes back under. Draw your navel in. Elbows need to come back if you took them really far forward. Press back up into your sphinx pose. Bring your right hand to the mat, your left hand to the mat, and downward facing dog. Okay. Check back in with your body. First down dog to explore some movement. Pedal your knees, sway your hips. Okay, and because we're focused on the core, I encourage you in every shape you come into to bring your awareness to what's working for you here. So even in down dog, there's that drawing in of the navel and the ribs okay, to support the lift, lifting of your hips. And then root through your palms, charge your heels down more. Okay, friends, from here, pedal your knees, come high onto the ball of each foot, look forward. Walk or float to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, full body stretch. Because it feels good, come all the way up, take a gentle back bend. And exhale, hinge from your hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to your extended plank. Lower to forearm plank. Left elbow down, right elbow down. Make sure your elbows are below the shoulders or shoulder distance apart to get inhale breath. Exhale, lower your hips down, keep your core active, sphinx pose, inhale, pull your chest gaze through. Right away, exhale, tuck your toes under, use your strong core, your back and forearm plank. Left hand to the mat, elbow in nice and tight, right hand to the mat, downward facing dog, hug. Okay, that's our salutation today. Using the core, our forearm planks to really fire up the heat in the body. Bend your knees, look forward, step or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. 
Root to rise all the way. Inhale, wrap, look up, reach back. And exhale, hinge, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back into high plank. Right elbow to the mat, left elbow to the mat, forearm plank. Slowly lower your hips, inhale, chest gaze, pull through. Exhale, use your strong core, press up, forearm plank. Right hand to the mat, left hand to the mat. Downward facing dog, hug. All right, you guys, we'll take two more rounds just like that. Breathe together, breathe with me, bend your knees, look forward. Step or float. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Root through your feet, rise up to stand, squeeze your glutes, use your core at the top. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back, high plank. Left elbow down, right elbow down, forearm plank. Lower your hips, peel your chest through. Exhale, strong core, lift up, forearm plank. Right hand to the mat, left hand to the mat. Downward facing dog. Remember, you guys can use your knees for modification. Let's take one more. Inhale, breath. Exhale, look forward, step or float. Halfway lift, lengthen, shoulders draw back. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, inhale, big stretch. Exhale, hands to the mat and fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back, high plank. Lower your left forearm down, right forearm down. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, slow lower your hips, chest gaze, pull through. Strong core, tuck your toes, exhale, forearm plank. Rise up, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, we'll start to add on from here, but take the next few moments to once again land back into your body. Observe any change in energy, sensation, catch your breath. Soft bend in your knees, look to the top of your mat, walk or float all the way forward. Inhale, breath, lengthen up through your spine. Exhale, fold, this time chair pose. Bring your big toes together, sit your hips back, sweep your arms up and over. Lift up through your chest, arm bones in line with your ears. Okay, now from here, can you slowly Bring your hands to meet at heart center while holding that depth in your lower body. Inhale, lengthen up through your spine. Exhale, twist to the right side of your space, but just to hover. So we're using the obliques to support the movement. Inhale, breath, lengthen. Exhale, twist. On your next inhale, come back through center, and let's try that on the other side. Keep your hips low. Hands to heart center. Inhale, breath. Exhale, twist. Hover your right elbow over your left thigh. We're not using leverage here, we're using the strength of the core. So inhale to lengthen and exhale, twist. Inhale, come back to your center, one breath per movement. Exhale, twist to the right side of your space just to a hover. Inhale, back up to your center, exhale, twist to your left just to a hover. One more time each side, inhale, center. Can you keep your hips low, exhale, twist right. Inhale through center, Exhale, twist left. Inhale, back through center. Forward fold as you exhale. Up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back into your extended plank and pull. Bring your right elbow down to the mat, your left elbow down to the mat. Be different this time. Holding here in forearm plank, that's option one. Option two, can you shift your left hand in? Your left elbow will shift below your left shoulder and open up to a, mod or a forearm side plank. Okay, you always have the option to lower your bottom knee for support or stack your right foot on top of your left. Okay. And then holding here, can you take an inhale, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, can you slowly sweep it underneath your left side body? Keep pressing away from your left forearm. Inhale, open up. Squeeze your glutes, use your core, exhale, twist. Let's move together for five. Twist. Last four. Open up your heart space as you reach out, exhale, twist. Three more, stay with me, inhale, open. Twist. Can you lift your hips up a little higher, last two. Twist. One more, inhale, breath, open up. Twist. 
Slowly come back to your forearm plank. Right elbow down, elbows below your shoulders. Stay for your inhale breath. Right hand to the mat, left hand to the mat. Downward facing dog, tuck your toes, hips up and back. Right leg kicks up and back behind you. Bend your knees, stack your hip. And let's pause here, just enjoy the stretch through the front line of the hips. Lift your knee up high, there's this activation in the glutes and your core is still working. Come up high onto your left toes. Everyone, right knee taps right elbow tricep. Kick up and back. Right knee taps left elbow tricep, there's a twist. One more time, inhale, right leg kicks up and back. Right knee, right elbow tricep. Kick up and back. Keep rooted through both palms. Right knee to left elbow tricep. Kick up and back. This time look through to the top of your mat. Step your right foot there. And lower your left knee top of your foot. Okay, inhale, arms reach up and over. Low lunge, so you have your right foot flat, your left knee flat. There's this space opening up on the left side. And compression on the right. We'll add a bit of work now for the core. Navel pulls in, ribs pull in. And take your hands to the back of your head, interlace your grip. So you're opening the arms up like this. Okay. On your inhale, hold a really tall spine. On your exhale, twist your body to the right side of your space while stable in the lower body. Inhale, come back to your center. Hinge forward, hover your torso just above your right thigh. Inhale, lift back up to your center. To the left this time, exhale, twist. Hips are stable, move through the torso. Come back to your center. And exhale, hinge. One more round just like that. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale through center, strong core, and hinge forward. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale through center, last hinge. Inhale, rise up, pause and hold. Reach your arms up and over, let your shoulders soften and bring your hands down to the mat. Tuck your left toes, pause here and hold. Okay, plant your hands, step your right foot back to meet your left, okay. and then can you take your left hand slightly forward, roll to the outer line of your left foot. We're in an extended side plank now, right arm will reach up towards the ceiling. Can everyone here take right foot, step it in front of the bottom leg, so it acts as a kickstand. I'll just turn to face you so you can see what I'm doing. And then reach your top arm towards the front of your space. Inhale, lift your hips up nice and high. Keep this rooted, or rooted sensation through your left hand. On your exhale, can you dip your hips to a hover? Keep your core engaged, fingertips reach to the back of the space with your gaze. Again, inhale, lift up through your hips. And exhale, slow dip. Let's move here for five. Lower. Four. Lower. Last three. Lower, two, lower, last full round, lower, pause and hold. Inhale, come all the way through, right hand meets the mat. Once again, kick your right leg up and back behind you. Okay, friends, from here, right knee taps, right elbow tricep. We've been in this shape before. Kick up and back. One time to the left and hold. Right knee to your left elbow tricep. Look to the left side of your space. Kick your right foot up to the side. Fall in triangle. Root through your right palm. Lift your left arm up towards the sky. So another variation of our side plank. Your core is working. Shoulders are working. Lift your hips up nice and high. Option if you need a bit more. Squeeze to your inner thighs. And lift your right foot to a hover. Okay, wherever you are, gaze up, reach up, hold for five, four, Three, two, and one. Gaze down. Left hand to the mat. Kick your right leg up and back behind you. And downward facing dog. Pedal your knees, sway your hips, let that go. Okay, soft bend in your knees. Look to the top of your mat. Step or float all the way forward. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose. Sit your hips back. Arms sweep up and over. Okay, you're sitting back into your hips. 
Chair pose, we've been here before. Little bit of a longer hold. Bring your hands to meet at heart center. Let your shoulders move from your ears. Keep your chest open. Inhale, breath lengthen up through your spine. Exhale, twist to the right, and you'll hover and hold this time using just your breath to guide you. So as you hold your twist, feel the obliques, the side body start to fire up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Keep your elbow to hover, sit your hips back more. Inhale, breath lengthen, strong core. Exhale, twist. One more time, inhale. Exhale, twist, twist, twist. Come back to your center. We're staying here right over to the other side, same thing. Exhale, guides you to the left, you hover. Left elbow hovers, right elbow hovers over left thigh. Let's stay here, use your core, breathe. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Still at a hover. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Shoulder blades move together. Inhale, breath. Exhale, twist, twist, twist. Inhale, come up to your center. Forward fold. Ah, let that go. Okay, let's take an inhale, halfway lift. Fully surrender. Allow the sensation in your lower back to just soften. And when you're ready, bring your hands down to the mat, step back into your high plank, pause and hold. Okay. All right, from here, lower to your forearms. One elbow down at a time. Keep rooted through the palms, the wrists, the forearms. Okay, and then slowly shift your right hand into center, heels move to the right side of your space. Open up to your modified side plank. Not really modified, sorry, forearm side plank. You can modify by keeping your bottom knee on the mat. This is a great place to be. Okay. Whichever variation of this shape you are taking, lift your hips up nice and high. Use an inhale breath. As you exhale, sweep your left arm underneath right side body. Keep your hips lifted. Inhale, gaze up, reach up. And exhale, sweep through. We're here for five. Twist. Four. Twist. Squeeze into your glutes, into your core. Lift your hips up. Last three. Twist. Last two. Twist. Last one. Twist. Stay for your inhale breath. Back to forearm plank. Remember, you can use your knees at any point. Rise up to high plank. Elbows in tight as you press up. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Ha. Okay, hope you guys are still doing okay. Stay with me, left leg up and back behind. Bend your knees, stack your hip. And then enjoy the stretch here in the hips just to start. You lift your left knee up, keep charging down through your right heel, still rooted through both palms. High on your left toe, right toes, look forward. Use your strong core, left knee taps, left elbow tricep, press away from your mat. Kick up and back. Left knee to right elbow tricep, strong core, kick up and back. One more time, each side just like that. Keep pressing through your palms, navel in, left knee, left elbow, kick up and back. Left knee will cross through right elbow, kick up and back. Look forward, high on your right toes, land your left foot to the top of your mat. Lower your back knee, top of your foot. Once you're stable in your foundation, Reach up, arms overhead. Okay, settle into your hips here. And once you feel stable, interlace your hands behind your uh, head, base of the skull. Navel pulls in, feel the ribs tuck in. Inhale, tall spine. Exhale, twist to the left side of your space. And then come back to your center. Slow hinge forward, torso hovers over your left thigh. Inhale up to your center, and exhale, twist to the left. Inhale to your center, and exhale, hinge. Okay, so come up to your center, keep the hips stable, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale to your center, shoulders move from your ears, hinge. Inhale, rise up, twist to the right. I think we did one more, so let's move through one more set. If not, it's a bonus round, inhale. Twist to the left. Inhale. Hinge forward. Strong core. Inhale. Twist to the right. Inhale. Slow hinge. 
Inhale, rise up. Reach your arms. Feel the release in your upper body. Exhale, hands down to your mat. Tuck your right toes. Okay, and then press into your hands. Step your left foot back to meet your right. Right hand will slide forward slightly. It just feels a bit nicer on the right shoulder joint. Roll your heels to the right. Open up to your side plank to the left. Okay, so we will take the top foot. Step it to about midway up your mat. Left knee and ankle step. Now as you inhale, reach your top arm towards the front of the space. As you exhale, slow dip. Left, right hip down, fingertips gaze, reach back. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hover. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hover. Let's take a few more rounds. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. This time as you inhale, come all the way around. Left hand to the mat. Kick your left leg up and back behind you. You're in three leg dog. Okay, root through your palms. Left knee will tap left elbow tricep. Big kick up and back. Your strong core guides you here. Left knee to right elbow tricep, pause. Look to the left side of your, right side of your space. Left hand can slide forward slightly. Kick your left foot through to the right. Right arm towards the ceiling. So another variation of your side plank, but we're opening up some space in the inner line of the legs. Keep squeezing your glutes, open up through heart center. Option to hover your left foot, feel the inner thighs fire up. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Right hand to the mat, left leg to the sky, downward facing dog. Okay, slowly come forward and land on your knees, big toes together, child's pose. Palms to the mat for our, or forehead to the mat. Okay, take a couple breaths here to catch your breath, calm your body. Let your shoulders soften down away from your ears. I just needed to grab my watch. And then when you're ready, knee back in, downward facing dog. Press into your palms, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back. On your inhale, shift forward, come into your high plank pose. Working so many forearm planks today, right elbow down, left elbow down, forearm plank. So you'll hold here, option to lower your knees. We're here for a little bit longer with a few options to play. Whether you're holding here or following along, check back in with your breath. Keep drawing your navel in towards your spine. Keep that broad um, space across your back body. We'll add hip dips. Yeah, hip dips. <laughs> Drop your right foot to hover to the right side of your space while still stable through both forearms. Come back to your center and dip to the left, hips just hover. Move from side to side, dip right, center, dip left, center, for eight, center, seven, center, six, five, you can do it, stay strong, four, three, last two, one, come back through center, right hand to the mat, left hand to the mat, downward facing dog hub. Lift your right leg up and back behind you, right away high on your left toes, look forward and find a lunge. This time keep your back knee lifted, stay rooted through the back toes and rise up to a crescent lunge. Okay, so you're holding here in present lunge, front knee, ankle stack, shimmy your left toes back so you can really um, power up as you charge through your left heel. Navel pulls in, ribs pull in, core is working. Inhale, tall spine. And as you exhale, can you hinge forward and hover your belly just above your right thigh? Hold here in this shape and we'll move just with the arms and the breath. As you exhale, reach your arms behind you, so rooted through your front foot, 
core is still working, shoulders squeeze back. Inhale, arms reach forward. Exhale, arms reach back. Stay with me here for five. Squeeze back. Four. Squeeze back. Core is still working. Last three. I know the lower body is working too. Squeeze back. Last two. And squeeze. Last one. Squeeze back. Pause and hold. Feel your shoulder blades move back. Stay for your inhale breath. Listen carefully. Left hand meets the mat. Slightly ahead of your left shoulder. Hit option one. Heel toe your right foot all the way back to your, your side plank. Option two, peace finger and thumb, grab for your big toe. Roll onto your left heel and kick your right leg up. Okay, now whether you took a step back or the big toe transition back, we'll meet here with the right leg lifted, right arm towards the front of the space. Your modification, lower your bottom knee, take it from here. Once again, let's work into the side body. Crunch elbow in towards knee. Big stretch back open. Exhale, crunch elbow to knee. Inhale, open. If you did sculpt with me yesterday, we did this. So you might be feeling it right away. Let's go for four. Open. Three. Open. Last two. Open. Squeeze in. Open. Right hand to the mat. Three leg dog. Right leg to the sky. Look forward. Step forward, open up to a warrior two. Left heel meets the mat, arms reach up and over. Okay, almost done the hard work on this side. Settle into your front knee. Back foot is rooted. Then open up your arms, relax your shoulders from your ears. Okay, interlace your grip to the back of your head again. Elbows open up, shoulders move down. Stay up tall through the spine as you inhale. As you exhale, can you tap right elbow towards right knee and then press away to rise back up. Again, right elbow to right knee and rise up. Core is working, ribs are in. Let's move for five. Lift. Four. Lift. Three. Keep drawing your upper body back. Sink deeper into your front knee, two. And on one, can you pause and hold? Keep your hands here at the base of your skull. Option to bring hands to heart. Mindful of your knee, can you press into your right hand and straighten out through the front leg? Micro bend if there's any pulling in the back of your knee. And then extend the crown of your head forward. Triangle pose, you can open up right hand to right shin and left arm up towards the ceiling or Option to reach right arm forward, left arm forward. Okay. Wherever you are, core is supporting you. Know that you're rooted through your feet, so the foundation is holding you up as well. Okay. Can you roll your left shoulder more open with your gaze towards the sky? Find your breath. Whether you're here or you're here, let's stay for an inhale. Stay for your exhale. On your next inhale, rise all the way back up into your warrior two, gaze forward, look forward. Inhale, breath here. Exhale, hands down to your mat, pivot on your back toes, and step back into your downward facing dog. For a lot of you, it might feel good to lift your right leg up, bend your knee. You can open up to a wild thing. Really nice, power, powerful stretch to open up through the front line of your body. Squeeze your glutes, lift your hips, gaze, fingertips reach forward. Those of you that flip, stay for one more inhale breath. Come back through center, right hand down, right leg to the sky. Downward facing dog. Okay, right away, let's move to the other side. Left leg kicks up and back behind. High on your right toes. Look forward and lunge. Left foot flat, stay high on your right toes. You guys can slow down, pause and take, water rest whenever you need to. I guess I could have said that a while ago, but I'm saying it now. Inhale, arms reach up and settle into your lunge. Front knee and ankle stack, charge through the back of your right knee, charge through your heel. Set that really strong.
strong foundation. Soften your shoulders from your ears. Lift your chest. Lift your gaze. Slowly hinge forward from your hips and bring your um, torso to hover just above your left thigh. Draw your shoulder blades down and back fingertips reach forward. And as the core stays stable, we move through the arms. Exhale, arms reach back behind you. You can squeeze into your triceps, feel your shoulder blades squeeze back. Inhale, arms reach forward. And exhale, squeeze back. Let's stay here together. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Keep stable in your foundation. Last four. Squeeze. Last three. Squeeze. Can you draw your left hip more back? Feel your glutes fire up. Last two. Squeeze back. One more. You can do it. Squeeze back. Pause and hold. Lift your arms up. Inhale breath. And exhale hands down to the mat. Up. Right hand down, left arm up. Again, you can step, step, step back into your side plank. Or challenge yourself, try it out. Big toe is peace finger and thumb grab for your big toe. Press through your right palm, kick your leg back. <laughs> okay, wherever you are, whether you're in this modified shape, right knee down, or you're on the Right foot, lift your left leg up, left arm forward. Let's add that side crunch, elbow in towards knee. Inhale, open back up. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, open for five. Open, four, open, three, open, two. One more squeeze in, inhale, open. Left hand down, left leg to the sky, three leg dog. And right away look forward, warrior two. Right heel meets the mat, root down, rise all the way up. Okay, catch your breath. Shoulders step over hips, soften your shoulders. Interlace your hands behind your back or the back of your head. Elbows open up, squeeze your shoulder blades back. Take an inhale, tall spine. Exhale, hinge to your left. Hover your left elbow over the knee. Keep your foundation strong, rise back up. Again, hinge, elbow towards knee, maybe tap, and rise all the way up. Let's go for five. Squeeze up. Four. And lift. Last three. Lift, two, last one, pause and hold. Okay, really mindful movement here. Press into your left foot, straighten out your left leg. No hyperextension in the back of the knee, so soft bend's totally fine. Open up to triangle, left hand to left shin, really soft grip, right arm will reach up. Or extend, left fingertips forward, right fingertips forward. Wherever you are, your core is working. You're still rooted through your foundation. Top shoulder will roll back. Okay, and let's breathe together. Inhale. Stay for your exhale. Another inhale. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, rise up. Ooh, settle back into your warrior two. Inhale, breath. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Kick your left leg up and back. And flip over to wild thing if that feels good for you and your body. Squeeze your glutes, lift your hips. Gaze fingertips reach forward. Inhale, breath. Exhale, come back to your center. Okay, kick your left leg up and back behind you. Downward facing dog. All right, friends, from here, come all the way forward. Here's your option. Lower as slow as you can onto your belly for a count of five. Some of you might feel like adding some chaturanga push-ups up to you. Whatever you choose will land on the belly. Just for a couple of poses for the back body. So we complete that 360 work around the core. Start with the cobra pose, tops of your feet flat, let the back of your neck extend long. Inhale, press into the tops of your feet, your hips, rise up. Draw your elbows and your shoulder blades back. Squeeze your glutes. 
and exhale, slow lower. Locus variation, variation with the bind, so we also get that stretch in the upper body. Interlace your hands behind your back. Legs together, inhale, lift your feet, your legs, your chest. Your interlaced grip moves away from your bum. Keep squeezing into your glutes. Okay, feel your back body is really working here. Inhale, rise up, and exhale, slow lower. Option now to take another cobra, another locust, or bow pose. Reach back, grab for one foot and ankle, or ankle on each side. Uh, try for this one to flex into your feet if you can, and to start, keep your thighs rooted, and on your inhale, squeeze into your glutes, lift your chest, lift your chin, lift your gaze, and then if you're taking it further, you might start to lift your knees up away from the mat, okay. wherever you are, whether that's cobra, locust, bow, take two extra rounds of breath, inhale, stay for your exhale, one more inhale, Stay for your exhale, another inhale, and exhale, slowly soften all the way down. Press into your palms. Once you've had a chance to neutralize your spine, don't rush through this. Uh, you can settle into a child's pose. <sighs> Hips to heels, forehead to mat. You can rock your forehead side to side, release that work. Check back in with how it feels to be in your body, to be in this moment. Notice any changes in sensation, in energy, in breath. Press into your hands. You can take a few cow cats if that feels good to release any of the muscles or areas of the body that are really speaking to you. And eventually meet Seated with your legs out in front. And we'll take a seated forward fold. You can see your hip bones are on the mat. You're welcome to bend your knees if you're feeling quite tight, still on the back of your legs. Um, inhale, reach your arms up and over. Feel your shoulders soften. And as you exhale, slow hinge forward. Now, depending on what you need from this stretch, if you maintain a really long spine and fold from here, the sensation should move more into the back of your legs. But if after that core work, you're really feeling some sensation in your back body, try taking the soft bend in your knees, use your inhale to lengthen, and allow your upper body to round more as you fold forward. You're welcome to play around with the two variations so that you can find sensation that serves you in this moment and coming out of that work. Take a few more rounds of breath. And then inhale, rise all the way up. Slower than you want to, we'll lower onto the back. Hard work is done, just this little extra challenge. Reach your arms forward, soften your shoulders from your ears. Slowly begin to lower down. We'll move for a count of 10. Keep your navel in your ribs at nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 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 anyone still with me? One, come all the way down. Arms overhead, reach your toes to the front of your space. Big, good morning stretch. And exhale, bring your knees in towards your chest. Oh. Now I invite you to take any final movement your body is craving. If you need a bit more core work, the bonus round is eagle legs, eagle arms, eagle crunches. I'm not going to do them, but they are there for you if you would like. 
If you're looking for some more stretching, you can move into happy baby. A spinal twist might feel nice. Knees fall to the right, to the left. Really nice to release the work through the core, the full core. Legs up towards the ceiling if the legs are experiencing some sensation, legs reach up. Figure four, nice stretch for the lower body. If you were able to practice sculpt with me yesterday, we did a lot of work in the lower body. I'm definitely feeling them today. So if you need a bit of extra time stretching there, please take that time. And settle into your final Shavasana when you're ready, no rush. Your legs and your arms come out long on your mat. You can close down your eyes. <laughs> and feel every muscle in your body really start to soften, release. I will leave you guys in your Shavasana today. I really, really encourage you to stay out for a few, uh, a few minutes or a few rounds of breath. But before we close off here together, with your eyes closed and your body uh, completely relaxed, take a moment to silently thank yourself for carving out time in your day to move your body Send out a silent thank you to others who made it to practice, the others that are breathing and moving with you today in this moment. And thank you so much for allowing me to guide you through practice. Thank you for following along. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you guys. Have a great Thursday. I hope to see you soon. Bye.